teach you to back off more towards ledge to try to get some early kills. They both have the same aesthetic. It's like tiny blue, tiny yellow spherical thing with blue accents right oh, now. That's I'm my all favorite. For it. That's my yeah. favorite Pichu skin. Yeah, the team, the tween, team Aqua? Oh yeah, Team Aqua, bro. I love those Pichu skins. Because all I can imagine is Pichu riding on Kyogre <laughs> and just having the time of his life. Right he's now just, we're seeing he's just doing the Titanic pose. Absolutely, that'll be great. All right, we're coming in the first game right now. Uh, Quid's just uh, even percent, so already swapping back and forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot of the Pichu Mare. It's a really good out of shield option. Doesn't deal uh, any self damage and just overall able to give him a safe landing. Yeah. The name of the game with against Pac-Man is um, just kind of noting where the hydrant lies and figuring out a way to like break it. Break yeah. up where the hydrant is, get it off the ground. But that hydrant is like the the base of the pyramid when it comes yeah. to Pac-Man. Um, especially uh, with uh, any Pac-Man, probably doesn't like their hydrant being messed with when they want to use it. Yeah, it's their turn on the hydrant. Exactly. Um, but no, right now we're seeing a lot of good uh, moves from Quid here. He's waiting for his shield to get landed on and hitting uh, Nair because this is probably going to kill back throw. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, Pichu being so light, he's gonna die pretty early from a lot of throws and or just stray hits. He's gonna it's... die to weird things, and we're gonna we're gonna point him out. Exactly, and then, so <laughs> any stray hit Quid can get here is really good in his favor. Any T jolt that doesn't connect with Quid is is in his favor. That's yeah, it's it's weird that like every interaction that Pichu has, if he if he whiffs an electric move, he he lost. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be a good amount of damage. Double Galaga into a Hydrant. Yeah, that back Ooh, air not nice gonna be back it. Air. Oh. Okay. Ooh, all right, looking to go for a spike here. Didn't get it though. He didn't really commit to off stage. He kind of was like trying to stay as on stage as possible there. Ooh, and a good bell to catch yeah. the jump from ledge there. Yeah, that was a and good I, conversion from. Uh, and it is gonna be hard for Pichu to kind of contest Pac-Man off stage while Pichu's recovery is really good. Pac-Man's is really mobile. So trying to set up for that spike situation or that edge guard to be really rough, but the down smash is gonna take the first stock off of Quid. So Lil J's got a pretty long game ahead of him here if he's gonna try to win. Yeah, Lil J definitely has a mountain to climb, and as we said, Pichu, lightest character in the game, does self damage. He's gonna have to play pretty perfect to to seal this out convincingly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mitigate like any damage he doesn't need to take here, which is looking really rough for him so far. Whoa, the apple bounce. The apple lingered. Oh, well, okay, there we go. Now we're gonna see where Peach is gonna have an advantage in this. Yeah. Peachu combos really well against any and all characters. I'm oh, not gonna kill. Okay. Yeah. Was like Peachu oh, does have some like game stealing combos though. Oh, absolutely, and also the fact that uh, similar to Pikachu, Peachu does have a loop setup that mm -hmm. it's it's a bit more difficult than Pikachu's from what as I've been told. Yeah, but um, it's a, it's one of those rinse repeat things that you can just kind of yeah. get able to get a bunch off of it if he's able I don't but I don't know if little Jay has that and from what it looks like he's a grab away from dying or just even a straight tilt at this point yeah he's a th he's like a back throw from mid stage kind of dead right now yeah the angled up F2 Ooh. almost killed Croc Green Ooh, good use the recovery there and that, yeah it's gonna kind of be I think that'll kill that'll yeah that one, yeah. that one's gonna kill it does. I think it's rad to see the creative, uh, creativity of Little J here is, uh, well, Pikachu, whenever he does up E from ledge. Oh my lord. Okay, but he was at 200%. Yeah, he was dead you, to the next Can you tell me like, the last time you've seen a Pichu at 200% though? That was bro. some really good survivability from Little J. Yeah, no, Even if really it good. didn't pan out well. I mean, it overall, paying out pretty well from going from uh, one stock, uh, three from three to one stocks, bringing it down to uh, one stock a piece. Yeah. A really good start to get his footing to try to figure out the matchup. I'm curious, to see, uh, curious though, where this will go from here. Yeah, game um, two is going to be a mystery about how that ended. Yeah, um, but so, like I said, Pac-Man's Hydrant's going to take up the stage a lot for uh, the T-Jolts to prevent him from having to dodge it himself. And so I think that's where Little Jay's going to get really creative with his T-Jolt angles or, try, or finding ways to approach in without taking damage from, like, the Nair's out of shield. I think we're going to see a lot of, like, Tomahawk landings... Uh, run up, grab shields, things like that, where he can avoid taking those little bits of damage from Pac Man. Here. All right, from what I think I saw, I think we're just doing a run back straight to PS2. Not a bad option from how close that uh, little J uh, got to bringing it back. 
So I think he just needs to tighten up a few things and he's able to uh, take a game. Yeah, all things considered, that wasn't out of the realm of possibility, even though it was like he barely bought it back to the third stock. But I've seen Pichus do zero to deaths, like, that looked pretty true. Exactly. Oh, that was is head there. That could have been a really scary situation if he caught him in a back or off stage. Yeah. And so I think similar to like uh, watching out for Pac-Man's Nair out of shield, uh, Quid has to kind of watch out for the Pichu Nair out of hit stun. I think they both have to watch out for it. Their Nairs are very similar in that case. Where it's yeah, very... they're both very fast, very good burst options, set up pretty well into the rest of their kit. Yeah. But once again, I, I'm seeing Lil Jane just kind of take a lot. Ooh! Ooh. That almost killed. Ooh. Almost killed. That Impressive. Asterisk at 60. <laughs> <laughs> good, at, good. Uh, good. He almost got protected. If he got him that back, that would have definitely been a stock take. That yeah. smash is very strong. Yeah, that, that, that thunder is the reason why Pichu can uh, steal so many things. Absolutely. Ooh, that was really good timing, hitting the uh, Hydrant at the same time. It broke, so it redirected it. Um, I think something we haven't, uh, I haven't really brought up, or we haven't, is that a move you're not seen as much as you used to, of course, is the F-Tilt from it being changed to uh, that up to Oh, that was yeah. good coverage. Um, but so, you know, before... Ooh. No, it's not going to... Yeah. Pac-Man's going to make it. Pac-Man's recovery is one of the best. It is, yeah. I think it's a very, like... When talked about like the best like recoveries, I don't think I see Pac-Man's brought up a bunch. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, I don't think it's super slept on, but it's also just with hitboxes on three of the like on the jumps there. There's hitboxes. You have the side B, and you get both of them back after being hit. When it came to where he was uh, recovering from, though, I feel like that was a really uh, dropped stock when it comes when it came, came to Little J because he had that like diagonal recovery that he had to do. So he yeah. definitely had that amount of time to cover that. Yeah, big wall of area. He could yeah. take that, it up. That was a little bit of a, a missed opportunity for Lil J. And he's, he took some pretty pretty heavy percents for Pichu. Absolutely. Well, you know, good ledge guard coming from little, uh, little J there. And getting early stock in the fair chain there. Ooh. Almost bringing it close to half even. Yeah. Ooh. Well, right now, going kind of back to this neutral state of fishing for the openings. And he's just going. He's just kind of reverting to throwing T jolts when he's uncomfortable. Yeah, and that's just probably like a muscle memory thing getting used to. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's like helping him reset neutral, and it's helping him getting his bearings on a little bit while getting chip, chip damage. So it's really good for little little Jay to be doing that. Yeah. Oh, right now he's not able to get off his ledge here. He's taking a lot of damage. For it. All right, back there coming off that landing. Yeah, he's going pretty deep there. Yeah, I think he kind of needs to. He's looking for an early kill off the ledge guard. Yeah. Because uh, Pichu also having a very good recovery is able to go pretty deep here. Yeah, Lil J's movement right now is really fast, and he's just getting all like all over the place. But uh, Quid's is doing a really good job of just putting a hitbox out in the right space at the right time, and just put, stopping him in his tracks. Yeah, and that's and yeah. So like with Pichu taking these chip damages, every little hit is so good for uh, Quid here. And right now, it's kind of what he's looking for. He's letting him rack up the damage himself, and he's just getting these straight hits a little bit to help that up. And so most of the time, he's looking for a lot of the kill throws. I think we've seen two or three kill throws at least, and then one on an F tilt or an up tilt for another kill. That was really good hydrant play from uh, Quid there. He put it like right there at ledge, and then he grabbed, and he just kind of let the water take him away. And then he kicked it and let the hydrant take little J away. So I think that's another thing that uh, Little J's got to watch out for if he's going to stay on Pichu for this game three, is that uh, so if people didn't know, and that I don't, so I'm going to assume this isn't general knowledge, uh, Pac-Man's Fire Hydrant breaks off based on how much damage it's taken. It's not based on the the knockback of the move or anything like that. It's strictly how much damage has it taken. Yeah. So whenever uh, Little J is hitting these Fire Hydrants with the T Jolts, it's usually putting it about one away from a hit breaking it off mm -hmm. so in that case in that case there what happened is that pac-man would have needed to hit it with his own fruit and then f tilt to get the hydrant to pop off but instead yeah. the t jolt hit it and all he had to do is f tilt it himself to pop it off yeah so the, all those thunder jolts that he's doing it's like weakening the hydrant and that's either a really good thing or a really bad thing depending on where pac-man happens to be yeah unfortunately for little jay he really didn't consider Step that off. Woo! Woo! I think now this off. is where the game's gonna change. Well, this is uh, gonna be kind of similar 
And uh, so, like I said, I don't. If I remember correctly, the fire hydrant thing is like 15% is the damage it needs to take before it's knocked away. So Sephiroth might. I don't know if he. Uh, if he, has he has a lot moves. of moves that will just. Yeah. From experience, I know that Sephiroth has like three moves that just get it out of the way. Which, yeah, so that could be a really good help. And then also being able to space a little more here, but right now, Lil J doesn't have much of like a footing with what he's looking for. The yeah, he already has a wing on him. him. Yeah, wing is like the Arsene for uh. It's Arsene and Limit combined. I wouldn't say that. It's not that good. <laughs> Well, so similar to Limit, it does uh, change uh, Sephiroth's uh, airspeed. It, it changes his airspeed, his ground speed. It, so it does a lot for him, but... That's why, that's why I say it's more similar to Limit than like yeah. Arsene, because it doesn't change any of his hitboxes besides <laughs> armor on the smash attacks. Yeah. But that it extra make jump them stronger, though. is what's going to be huge, actually, in this, in this matchup. Yeah. Disadvantage and edge guarding is going to be so much uh, better for Lil J here because he has that extra jump. He has that ability to uh, kind of mix up his landings and where he's going for an edge guard. And right now, ever since he's gotten a footing, right now uh, Lil J has been holding the like advantage here. Yeah, Quid's having a really hard time dealing with his extra mobility. Yeah, that and I think Sephiroth's stage control is so good. Uh, yeah, Nash dancing Pepperoth is absolutely terrifying. The amount of space he controls in that moment is yeah, just it's, so terrifying. It's just so commanding. Yeah, because any moment that's up come out. <laughs> Wait, it kept hitting because of the yep. changing fruits. Yeah, yeah the, the fruits have a hurt box, but they don't really do anything. So it's just like free linger. Find your lingers here. Ooh, missing oh, the conversion off the there. bell. Well, Jay getting a like second breath of life, but since Sephiroth's so darn light, that uh, back throw is going to end up sealing the deal. He had to be late, otherwise his character would be top one. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a balancing thing. <laughs> but right now, it definitely gave him a He's not going to make it back from this. Oh, never mind. I, I'll, I'll eat that. I, I capped. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator's curse right then and there. Yeah. All right, so once again, yeah, I, it, it, I feel it's really rough here for Little J until he gets that link. Yeah. Sephiroth's disadvantage. He doesn't have much landing options when it comes down to the that wing. Maybe I think the wing stuff. really, where it comes into play for uh, Lil J in the Pac-Man matchup is the mobility. The mobility is like so important for him. Yeah, being able to wall out so many things like that and like being able to move around the Hydrant and the Fruits. Yeah, it's... That extra mix-up of landing. It just makes Hydrant so much longer factor when you have the wing on you, which yeah. he does now. It just came uh, into play. Now we'll still see that, see, that, see that same change of pace that we saw from the Absolutely, yep. right away. And due to the fact he didn't take it with a smash, uh, he gets to keep the wing. It doesn't matter if you take it with a smash or not. The wing stays around a little bit after you a stock take if you have a lot of percent. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it got removed by a smash from what I remember. Uh, no. What it has to do is it. it uh, there's like a weird calculation that really no one really understands. Yeah, because the best I know... way I can explain it is um, it's a sort of like a deficit calculator. It determines yeah. how far behind you are to them. Yeah, the further you are behind, the earlier the wing comes out. Yeah, so when you take a stock and the, the tides change, if you have a lot of percent, it'll stick around for a little bit. Okay. For like a good like 50%, the wing will stay. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Right now, yeah, we're seeing like, so yeah, this matchup just it looks so polarizing to where before Sephiroth gets wing, it looks way more in favor of Quid here, but as soon as- The, uh, the jab jab there because of the hydrant? Oh, I just created some custom combos out here. Um, but so yeah, up until like we see a uh, little J get wing, it just looks so much more in Quid's favor here. But and then every time Wing comes out, little J just takes full command of the stage and airspace. Yeah, the which... one aspect of Wing we've yet to see is the smash attack armor, and even like like it's a very situational like uh, type thing to happen. But if we yeah. see a smash attack come out, what Sephiroth dash Ooh. attack? Ooh, opting Ooh, to go for the back bear. Here, but good tech coming yeah, there. we got techos. Ooh, Ooh. That, was a, that was a good little mix up that Quid was going for there. That probably would have killed if it connected with Sephiroth there. Because the fact of how light he is plus rage, it just, it, that could have been the game. The set yeah. it, actually. This that. is a really good spot for Lil J. Having yeah, the wing on the third stock. Wing on third stock, just kind of controlling the initial space that he needs to. Oh. Jay's got to be careful, though. Lil J just tossing him aside. Bell, Will Bell. Ooh. <laughs> the 
air cone out. Yeah. One now thing. This sort of little Jay's gonna have advantage. Yeah. Having that up air is gonna be insane. Yeah, that hydrant kind of ushering him to the right side of the stage, putting that clear divide. Oh, that wasn't risky. Yeah. That was a risky dash attack. Yeah, he really wants this win, and he's starting to get a little bit antsy. Yeah, he's gotta be yeah, just Jay definitely needs him. to keep his composure. This game is just, just gonna go down. Downhill fast. Yeah. We're, I'm st we're st I'm starting to see these like little like like I need I need to kill him from uh, Lil J. Like he's just throwing out those moves. Yeah, I and mean, right now well, Quid's Quid is just yeah. having to take any. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Quid's like calm, oh. collected, and he's chucking the apple, and Lil J's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, in that situation, any second alive for Quid was just a good favor for him, and he, he took every second of that advantage, and yeah. that will put Quid and Death Spade into winner.